uh, what makes good legal writing in English is that we have to first identify the audi audience so that uh, when we write, we know what uh, we should focus on. So uh, when we write it, we would write it in a very concise and succinct manner so that uh, the people reading it can get immediately what we would like to present. For example, when we write an email to clients, uh, the clients may uh, just want to know the answer to the question or the solution for them. Uh, but when we write to other legal advices of the other clients, we may uh, be able to use some legal jargons to present our ideas clearly, uh, but that may not be possible to our clients. For academic writings, I think uh, it's different from uh, professional writing in the work context in the sense that when we present ideas, uh, there are uh, more room for us to look for other scholars' opinions and there are more space for us to discuss uh, the other opinions from the other contexts. But in the work context, uh, we may only have limited time and also uh, limited space for us to write those opinions out. We have to be direct in the work context. Usually in the academic setting, uh, most uh, writings we write would be uh, the assignments uh, for our assessment purposes. Uh, the best thing about uh, those assignments is to give us some practice as to what we can write and how we should write it uh, properly uh, to the right audience. Uh, for example, when we write an assignment or based on an essay type questions, uh, we usually follow the format as to the issues, the rules, uh, the application, the conclusion. Uh, following this format, we can give the audience a proper uh, structure so that they can follow our ideas more logically. Most of the writings we have to write every day and the most frequent ones would be the emails uh, either to clients, to our supervisors or the other legal advisors uh, of the other parties. One thing that we have to uh, remember when we write emails would be try to keep it short and uh, try to keep the reasonings are short as well but at the same time we have to present the ideas clearly so that uh, when the clients or the other parties read it they know what our stance point would be rather than just telling them the reasoning behind so we have to take a stance when we write emails or other advice so uh, in this setting the content would be very important uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, the structure of the email or the writing would be very important too because it guides the audience to read it uh, as to content so that they can keep it step by step. Uh, and more importantly, in a professional setting, the uh, details would be very important as well. For example, there should be no typos, uh, this kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. would be I have to identify what is the focus of the paragraph or even the whole uh, article so that I would differentiate what are the principles that are most important that I must include in the passage and also what are those examples that are relevant. So I have to strike a balance between uh, presenting the theories and also the examples in supporting the theories. Uh, the second way would be uh, try to keep some uh, expression short for example, there, uh, for law students, we usually use some legal jargons or uh, there are words that uh, we can keep it short. For example, we would say uh, subsequent to rather than after or in order to rather than to. Uh, this kind of expression, sometimes we are not mindful uh, to keep them short, but uh, when you have to cut words to meet the word limit, uh, we, we will be more careful about that. <laughs> 